Good evening and thanks for joining us. It's a scandal the Prime Minister wishes had gone away long ago, but try as he might to put an end to the questions over the secret deal with Mike Duffy, he can't escape it. He was grilled about it again today. Stephen Harper admitted the Tory party did pay Mike Duffy's legal fees. And tonight there's evidence Canadians are losing faith in the Prime Minister. A new poll shows 69% disapprove of how he's handling the job. We'll have more on that poll in a moment. But first, Mike LeCouture and the grilling in the House. Mike? Well, Donna, you just knew it was going to be a rough day for the Prime Minister when even his most loyal backbenchers were breaking ranks and breaking their silence. Personally, I'm just really discouraged and disgusted with the whole thing. It's clear Conservatives aren't happy with how all of this was handled. Inside the House, the Prime Minister was grilled for more than half an hour about the money his office and his party gave to Duffy to clear up his expense troubles. How many checks were there? The Prime Minister's response? He sees nothing wrong with paying Duffy's legal bills. And as I've said, Mr. Speaker, the, the Conservative fund regularly does, in fact, cover, cover the legal expenses of its members of Parliament. Harper also had to answer Duffy's allegation that the senator was told to lie about where he got the 90 grand to pay off his expense claims. That turned out, Mr. Speaker, to be a story told by Mr. Duffy and Mr. Wright. As a consequence, Mr. Wright no longer works on the public payroll and Mr. Duffy should not be on the public payroll. Precisely because it was wrong, why did the Prime Minister pay to defend it? But Thomas Mulcair asked every single one of the NDP's questions today, and the opposition doesn't think much of Harper's defence, that paying $13,500 to cover the senator's legal fees was par for the course. Now that they've been busted on the fact that there were two checks and say, well, it's perfectly acceptable to write a, a, a secret check to cover off legal fees for illegitimate expenses. He can't have it both ways. Now, Harper wants Senators Wallen, Duffy and Brazo off the public purse, but whether or not that will happen is still being debated. Senator, do we have a decision on the motions? Oh, hey, you're going to have to wait and see. <laughs> motions to suspend all three of them without pay are still on the floor of the Senate, but after a caucus meeting, it seems the Conservatives aren't standing by their original plan. Are you now weighing different options? Options are being looked at in terms of how we proceed, and we will make our decisions at the end of the day in the interest of Canadians. Thank you. And late today, the Conservative leader in the Senate said there are no other options. He went on to say that he doubts that this vote will happen before the Tory convention at the end of this week. Donna. Which is, of course, what the Prime Minister had hoped for. Mike LeCouture, thanks. All of this is taking a toll on the credibility of politicians generally, but on the Conservative Party and the Prime Minister in particular. A new poll released today shows the government mired in its lowest levels of voter support since it assumed power. And it reveals Canadians are losing faith in the Prime Minister. Jacques Bourbeau looks at the numbers for us. I understand you have some documents. It's a no-holds-barred political fight. Mike Duffy lobbing grenades aimed at the Conservatives and Prime Minister Stephen Harper. And a new poll shows they're inflicting a lot of damage. The poll done by Ecos Research for iPolitics shows Duffy is winning this war. When asked whose version of events they believe, 40% say Duffy. Only 18% think Stephen Harper is telling the truth. While 37% don't believe either of them. They're both crooks. You know, it just depends on who's going to get away with it. But you can't trust any of them. I have questions about both sides. I'd like to see Duffy kicked out. And I think the Prime Minister's been taking liberties as well. The political damage is everywhere. 63% of Canadians think the Conservative government is moving in the wrong direction. Harper's job approval ratings are sinking, only 24% far below both Thomas Mulcair and Justin Trudeau. And the Liberals are now far in the lead, ahead of the Conservatives by 11 percentage points. This is not a happy picture. As I say, the numbers are a little scary. Uh, and uh, I'm sure they're not big morale build builders as the government goes into a convention trying to hit a reset button. As bad as these numbers are, there's one that could spell even more trouble for Stephen Harper. When asked what the Prime Minister should do if it's proven he lied or misled Parliament about his role in the Senate scandal, 68% of those polled said Harper should resign. Jean Perbeau, Global News, Ottawa.